So let's start with the base domain model. As mentioned, it's a little bit of a recap of what you have learned in the basic part of the Essentials course. Let's have a look on the cumulosity hierarchy or structure, which give us information how devices are linked to cumulosity from a communication point of view. So this slide shows you the relevant aspects of a device and an asset and how the measurements, events and alarms are assigned to a device. The inventory stores all master-related data for your device, so it stores the configuration and the connection. In addition, the inventory stores all the related assets, be these um, buildings or cars, machines. The measurement contains numerical data produced by the sensors like temperature reading or calculated data based on information from the devices. The events contain other real-time information from the sensor network like for example triggering a door sensor. An event is very close to an alarm so an uh, an alarm is a type of a specific event. We talk about this later on in this section. The user or the operator of the system has to take action in order to resolve an alarm. So like a, for example a power outage. In addition, so that's what the triangle says, in addition security related events are shown as audit logs that's not visible here on the screen because that's not so important for your understanding. Operations, the box we are missing yet, they relate to data which is sent to devices for the execution of pro or processing. So this could be, for example, switching a relay in a power meter or sending a credit to a vending machine. So the, the big and good thing in Cumulosity is that it's a standardized representation of common devices and sensors. So as mentioned, the inventory stores the devices and assets which are relevant to your solution. We reference these from now on as so-called managed objects. So from the way how you can see your physical data in the cockpit application, so you bring your data into an asset hierarchy. So assets are representing your business. So in general, like buildings, machines, production units or cars. As visualized, these assets are organized in hierarchies. For example, an energy monitoring application might have the asset hierarchy as shown here in the graph. And important, before you can use a device in a cockpit application, a device has to be assigned to a group. The device we see later on will also have its own hierarchy so therefore we have two hierarchies, one hierarchies of types, uh, one hierarchies for the asset and one hierarchy for the devices. So the device hierarchy shows how devices are linked to cumulosity from a communication point of view. So we have in our wind farm example, we are looking now from the cockpit application on the region where we would like to monitor our turbines and then the region we have broken down to different farms and then in this farms we assign to our device so it's really a very simplified high level 
view on the on the on the wind farm. So in our cases, we have managed the turbines as devices. So they show up as top level device in the physical world. And then they are uh, the turbines are assigned to the real physical devices. So this could be different sensors providing information like wind speed, sunshine duration, for example. If you like the video and want to see more learning content, please visit the link down in the description below. After registration, you can access the Kimlocity IoT learning material, which is free of charge.